Hello and welcome. Just a reminder of what is coming up next month. That in the month of April, I will be doing some teachings and some lectures, some practical class about voltage stabilizer. And voltage stabilizer is one of the most populated appliances in Nigeria. That is the genesis of electronics. If you want to really learn troubleshooting on electronics, if you want to le really learn practical electronics, voltage stabilizer is one of the appliances that you can start from. Now, whether you're a lecturer or not, whether you're a lecturer, a student, you can be a part of this class because this class is a practical class. See, I want to give you an assurance. I'll be very happy if not less than a thousand people were able to catch up on this principle. And before the end of this 30 days, you were able to fix one or two stabilizers. So once again, the only fee you are paying is to subscribe for my YouTube channel. So if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that now. And after subscription, you can join the WhatsApp group because that is where you will have more opportunity to ask your question and one or two people can also benefit from it and can also reply you. Now, listen everybody. I have a very vital information. I have to be doing this because I find out that Nigerians don't go, just go to the market and they buy inverter ACs. They just go and buy inverter AC of any type and call the technician to install it without considering some things, some factors. Otherwise, they might end up spending 200000 to buy an AC. In less than six months, we will be buying for a, going for a panel. Of 60,000 to fix it and that is when you were able to see the panel or one or two people will be telling you of conversion this conversion that just because of you did not have you, you were not opportune to get this information I'm sharing now so this information is this let me break this down if you are buying an inverter AC there are things you have to look into don't go to the market and buy inverter AC because you see that this one is beautiful. Or one of your colleagues is telling you that that's what I'm using. One of the factors you consider is one. That AC, if it has issue, is there any spare? That is a factor number one. And factor number two you consider is this. Now, when it generates error code, can you see that error code online? Is there a service manual to that? Many inverter AC are coming into this country, Nigeria, coming into Africa without due inspection or without much consideration. Normally, before you produce an AC, there's supposed to be a service manual and there's supposed to be some, some internet stuff that one can access to get information on that AC. And in my next class, I will be teaching you something. On I will be telling you AC that you can buy, inverter AC that is advisable, and the one that is not advisable. And for those of you manufacturing those AC that does not have, a, for those of you manufacture those AC that does not have service manual, you just have to make a rethink. Because when people are not buying your product, you have to do that. You have to provide the material. For them to see to aid repair because it's not every time you finish installing an AC you had issue now they were expecting you to bring it back to the office only one service center in the whole of 36 state or only five service center that is not okay to the number of AC you are bringing out to the public once again my name is Robinson Egwe this section I'll be telling you something about inverter AC that you need to do that you need to know before we talked about voltage and current but now we are talking about frequency you have to understand that this inverter AC work with frequency if your generator is due for servicing the frequency is not stable some will not work until the frequency is stable until you service your generator let me tell you some big lies and the truth.
they will tell you inverter AC takes less voltage. But let me remind you that when the voltage gets low, lower than 170 volts, the board will keep stressing itself to work. It might work at that time, but the board is stressing itself. And some of all those boards, when it breaks down, it's beyond repair. They are looking for a way to get the board of 60,000 naira. The lies they tell you is that low voltage can work for inverter AC. But please don't take that lie. That is a big lie. If your inverter AC is running at a voltage less than 170 volts AC, it's at risk. So we tell you a better pass my neighbor. It's a lie. It's not a matter of better pass my neighbor. A better pass my neighbor can withstand that frequency. He can carry it, he can start it, but can it work for a duration of time? No. Thank you. I am Robinson Edward. I hope this free information might help. God bless you. Thanks for watching.